Did they move it somewhere or it wasn't? Part two. They moved it. Gotta call in and knock my video out. I don't know. I don't know how the magic happened. I just know that it happened, right? All right. So uh, coming in here, uh, this is your kitchen, obviously. You're gonna have your uh, refrigerator here. You're gonna have outlets on the backsplash here. The good thing about your refrigerator is that it already has a water line. If you've ever been to like an older house that don't have that, you buy a fridge that has an ice maker, you gotta install one, you'll see the wire or whatnot. This already has that. Okay. All right. So then um, you have your can light here. And then your pantry will be in here. So the door will be here. And open. Okay. Frame is gonna be here. And then right behind you is your two by four two short. Oh, here, without getting too much into it, I see that you have this for your. We'll call it. So you don't see the wires, right? Con conduit. Conduit. Yeah. Conduit, right? So then uh, you won't see the wire. You can have your flat screen up here um, uh, mounted and look flush. Okay. Like on TV. Like on TV. Right? That aluminum sheathing is going to bounce the sun rays back out. So when it's real hot, like in the summer, I don't know, I don't know if you're from Texas. But okay, so uh -huh. you know it gets real hot, right? Uh -huh. So what that's designed to do is to bounce the sun rays back out. What it's going to do is keep your attic about 30% cooler. What that means is that your attic is going to be 30% cooler, your house is going to be 30% cooler, and it puts the savings on your energy yeah. bill, right? So that's that's the main thing. So uh, one thing we're going to do next week, once we insulate, we're going to do. Um, because the house isn't the house isn't perfect, right? Mm -hmm. So cement isn't exactly 100% 100% square. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll seal the bottom with like a uh, a foam sealant. Mm -hmm. We'll seal the bottom here, and then uh, right at the top plate we'll seal it. We'll seal right here at the windows because again that's not 100% perfect, right? These are vinyl. We'll seal that. That way, um, you don't have any air intrusion coming in from the outside. And that foam expands. Yes. Okay. So, another thing you see on your window, you see how there's a window tent mm -hmm. almost, right? So, that's designed for um, energy as well. You see the difference here? Yes. And then there, these are um, double pane windows, right? There's a gas in between. And for any reason, the window is compromised. You'll see, you'll see a difference in here. It looks like Sharpie marker. Really? Yeah. So then your window's open from the inside here. You'll have a window screen, but um, window screen here, stay here. If you want to wipe the window from here, that's fine. That's how all the windows work. That's how. I got a double check. It should be. Um, if they're up and if it's up and down, they are. If you have a fixed window and it's fixed, it's not oh, okay. on. And uh, I'm too new to say yes or no. Okay. You got Master two bedroom. Two windows. Looking outside to the nature, right? But you're gonna have you're gonna have a fence up. <laughs> So nature's not looking back at you, right? <laughs> All right. Sorry, that's the sounds of my people. Right yeah. All right, coming on in. All right. This is a master. Um, this will. This is gonna have a um, shower glass, I believe, right? Um, I got. Let me double check. I, I think yeah, yeah. Right. Um, and then right here, what what's not built in 
you're gonna have a the optional linen closet. I'll show that. I think I did that with no door. Yeah, because remember it was a tub and uh -huh. a shower on the side, and you chose the shower versus the mm -hmm. tub shower. We need to cut open for the door to your master closet. closet. So right now. But heading upstairs. I can always look it up. All right, coming up here, you have a um, restroom. Show me right here. All right, so tub, shower combo, toilet here, and then you're gonna have a AC duct comes in. So that'll be closed off and it'll be nothing. Close off and it's nothing. All right. So notice there's an AC here. duct in that wall in that bathroom, okay. right in that wall that's right, right there. there. That's a big AC duct in there. Um, Going up like there. that. One so, Coming over. I that. And then shoot in that way. To that plenum. Right. right here. Bedroom here. Linen. Now that I'm talking about the uh, bedroom closet here. Windows. And you got your all sheets going that way. And there's another one here like this coming down. So when you walk into this bedroom, this little section here is blocked off. But it's AC duct coming from upstairs. Or what, coming from up from downstairs. This is going to be a... Um, Flex room. Yeah. Okay. Flex room in whatever, uh, some place for the kids to, I'm sure, your kids, mm -hmm. some place for the kids to, to do, what is it called? The, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a little lock spring here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Upper left bedroom as you're facing the house. Left rear bedroom is over here as you face the house. Savannah's in the closet right there to that bedroom. Then there's a panel. No, that one is coming into this room where I'm standing, the flex room. And that right left bedroom as you face the house. That one comes right here and it plugs into the plenum here. Yeah, so another one coming out going over to this bedroom, which is the left rear. They originally planned for this, this room for their three year old, but then they saw this and they completely changed their mind. Mm -hmm. Because if you look yesterday, a walk space here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had to use this part. Before you close, we're going to put foam insulation on here. Mm -hmm. And all that foam insulation is going to hide all of this stuff. Okay. So you're going to see, you should be able to see this, this part here, but if you missed up here, you're going to fall through the ceiling. Okay. okay. We had a homeowner last week, two weeks ago, the day after she moved in. Uh -huh. She stepped through there. Oh my goodness. That's in there. Fell through her shoulder. Oh my not, goodness. Not like oh, well, well, okay. Her leg went through. Right. Through <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> went in there, you know? Okay. Um, it will happen. You gotta stay on. If you're gonna walk in there, you gotta yeah, stay on yeah. those beams. We need to go in there because we need to go in uh, AC. This here? Yes. Is, uh, oh, we're going into the, the deal here. Yeah. Um, this here uh, is gonna have this. Um, that's your filter. That's your yeah, media filter. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, and then this is your drain here, right? So if you think about every AC unit, every AC, even in the cars, has condensation. That condensation mm -hmm. has to go somewhere. You got a primary drain line. The primary drain line is going to go to, um, I believe it's to the master. If for any reason that's filled up, 
or that's clogged, you have a secondary drain line. What will happen is that this pan will fill up, and then once it fills up, it goes on to the secondary drain. The secondary drain is going to go out here. You're going to go right outside your back door. To the patio. To the patio. Okay. So right that over gonna, the door. That is going to let you know, hey, there's an issue. Okay. Because what happens if this, if this uh, pan fills up with water, and then water starts coming out, mm -hmm. and then your AC will fall through the ceiling. However, then you got a secondary drain line. But if the secondary drain line fails as well, so that's my check engine light. This is your check. There you go. That's the best way I've ever heard. It. Uh, that is good. Check engine light. I like that. I haven't used I that before. You. Yes, is this pipe gonna go up? Um, the one that she's going to. Where's the one that she's gonna be putting the boiling hot water into? I believe it's this one. So we, she's gonna have a pipe that goes up. Yeah. So they okay. gotta finish. Mm -hmm. They gotta finish doing all that. Um, but you'll just clean it out. He, he suggests once a month mm -hmm. you put some hot water or you can put it down to the sink uh, once a month and uh, you'll be fine. Okay. Um, and then she changed this filter. Six months. Six months on that. Six months. Six months. My, see, my wife changes our filter every six weeks. Okay. Well, this one costs $60, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, one is, this one's really yeah. large. You can get get away with four to six months. Mm -hmm. We have the regular, regular filter at my house, but, uh, something like that. The, the, this is so big that um, you can't change it every four to six. Go ahead and pull it out, Mark. Let us see, so she can see that one. We got the same filter, so I'm like, that. oh, it's not in there. Oh yeah, is that it's not it? Fully installed yet? Yeah, it's not fully yet. But it's just it's still in the box. That's yeah, how it so comes. Still in the box. That's but, how they ship it to you. It's, yeah. It's large. Okay. So at the final walk, we will definitely go over that. Okay, cool. And, and I like it that she's got the little door and she doesn't have to crawl up into the attic. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I have mine on automatic order. It just comes. Yeah, okay. so that, that's why I've been able to explain to my homeowner, go and get one at uh, automatic order on Amazon. So mm -hmm. when you know it comes in, it's time, you know, it. it's time to change it. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to tell you is that your AC unit, um, probably one of the most expensive things in the whole house, right? About $6,000, if it fails, it's gonna be pricey, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons why it fails, people don't change the filter. People don't change the filter, mm -hmm. it ends up clogging up, there's no air that can go through. Okay. It does its HVAC stuff, and then it fails on you, and then you're gonna say, hey, it's, it's up to the floor. And then they're gonna say, no, it's not under warranty. You didn't maintain it, right? Okay. So uh, don't don't give the AC people a reason to say no. So get on the Amazon Prime or whatever mm -hmm. it is and uh, get it sent to you. So um, other than the foundation and your frame, this is probably the most expensive thing. And uh, I'm gonna touch base on that the next time we meet. So that way um, I kind of drive it in you because you know, a lot of people are worried about paint and drywall, mm -hmm. and that's what people yeah. see. Yeah. But that costs fifteen dollars, yeah, twenty dollars, thirty dollars, right? This thing is thousands of dollars. So um, I need to stress the importance of just simple thing: changing the filter. You get on the maintenance schedule once a year. Uh, I've done every two years, mm -hmm. but every two years, they come check everything, make sure everything's working right. They um, they'll clean out your ducts or whatnot, but um, you can you can hire whoever for that one. So we're changing the filter and the hot water. Pretty much, just keeping the, the lines clear, and then uh, you should. Be now, Mark, we're all, getting a, we're all getting a float switch on here too, just in case, because sometimes the insulation can get in there and they can clog that pipe, that that over overflow. If that get clogged, also, we're we gonna have a cutoff switch. A float switch sitting on the pan that the pan do fill up for any reason that it'll cut the whole unit off right there i don't i don't think we put float switches on here i i can double check but i don't, I don't think that's that's what we do if you don't then i need to talk to my guy you want a float switch on there okay uh, so they, they can put it there or they can put it on the line and whatever it get clogged they, or they can put it on the pan they can just clip it there mm -hmm. if it touches water it cuts it off oh okay 
Yeah. yeah. Yes. You, Cause you don't want this water no for no reason. No. Coming in. <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't want to scare you, but that that's probably. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not trying to play scare tactics, but it's just a possibility of that type of stuff uh -huh. happening. And uh, it happens if you don't maintain it, you know, it, it could be five, ten years down the road. And, uh, five, ten years down the road is, uh, you know, you're, you're not going to be under warranty. And that's, right. when, that's when it's really going to hurt. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just... We're just trying to explain that the importance of this. Mm -hmm. and that's for No insulation is going to be up here. No insulation. No insulation is going to be up here. You're correct. But it can come up. Sometimes people come up here and insulation get there. If it get that insulation get in there, it'll clog that pipe. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what? Yeah. He, he's right. So uh, that's one of the things I looked at at the final to make sure that this pan is nice and clear for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You want definitely want that to be clean. Okay, I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this yeah. is the closet, and then this will have a little door. Yes. Okay. It'll have a little door, and then have a lock on it. So, um, that little lock, you know, of course, you can see it's not going to be able to knob or anything like that. So, um, I don't know how old you're going to be. And I have a key, yes ma'am. Okay. Oh, look at your light things too. You can put a ceiling fan on all these. Every okay. room, so I double check that for you. So you you want to you want to think about it. You can put a ceiling fan there real quick. This is not really camera. No, yeah, yeah, you won't be able to do that. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't think it No, I wouldn't. All right, do you have any questions? Probably have a, probably wondering what's next, right? So, what's oh, next gotta, is going to be, um... Hey, Mark, so she, she got a... Can, can you explain her air intake? I mean, the, uh... Hey, Mark, Mark. Well, that, explain this to her. That's a weird area for me, but that's where it's going to be at? Yeah, that's where you're going to have, uh... So she's gonna have two in this house. Okay. And there's gonna be a, um, a door, a screen. Oh, okay. Um, it's only gonna be filled with one place, and that's at the HVAC. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I think that's why. So, so yeah. um, so you're gonna look at everything. They're gonna fix what they need to fix. Right. So, what happens is that if people come in and install it, right, and their manager comes back okay this good this good this is up to standard this is not up to standard mm -hmm. and they, then they send the back. so it's a, it's a small it's a little bit longer process but um, it's a necessary process to get it correct right so then um, after this um, we got this your drive your drive in is here on the stairs that drive it uh, comes up here drive. and it goes all the way out the whole to the ceiling of if now you're seeing walls, you're not seeing directly through it, you'll see the ceiling now. It's 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 gonna change, it's gonna look even bigger. Um so then uh, after drywall we'll do uh doors and trim and then after door and trim cabinets, we'll paint the inside and then um, you come through or they come through, you're gonna see some things that I don't know, someone with their ladder is going to do one of these numbers, they're going to bump, they're going to bump the, um, the sheetrock, they're going to scrape the wall, uh, we're going to be doing paint touch-ups all the way up until the day you move in probably, right? So, uh, just know that it's not a perfect process, but, um, we're going to get you. Okay. Alright? So, um, this is that deal I was telling you about. Oh, okay. Uh, that'll be trimmed out, but you'll see water coming. If there's water dripping from there, then I need to. Yes, yeah, so I need to check, check, my, yes, check my engine up there. Yes, ma'am. So then you got um, that green pole with the, there's like a little orange uh -huh. flag, and then there's like a little orange flag over there. Um, okay, that's where I start and stop. Yes, ma'am. That is your uh, your box. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that, no that, that's pretty good. Do I have a six foot privacy fence here? Um, so well, we're not going to lay grass. Yeah. We won't lay grass right on top of this. We're going to add four inches of topsoil. Mm -hmm. It's like orange almost. We use that. That's called a sandy loam. Okay. It just um, it's better than the, the black topsoil. That black topsoil clumps together and mm -hmm. it gets rocky. And, um, the other stuff doesn't. And it also holds moisture. Yeah, holds moisture grass. better. So you're going to have Okay, four. so I won't come out of my later in the grass be dead. You gotta water it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, <laughs> you're gonna have to water it. So it'll be four inches of um, of that sandy loam, and then after that four inches, then we're gonna um, add the grass. If you look, guys, still finishing lot, off the roof today. If you look on your lot, the um, the water is meant to run away from your house, right? Um, even on the side. Clear. You never know which something can be. Oh, no, yeah. Um, so, if you, if you look here, and all it drains away from here, then it's going to drain down. Okay. So, that's meant from, that's meant uh, to prevent the water from going, uh, staying at the foundation. Of course, you want to keep it moist, but you don't want to hold it back. Bit. Yeah, one here and it's designed to hold more PSI, more pressure. Um, the patch line. The copper and all that. It's uh, 160 PSI, okay. right? But it's you're not going to be. You're not going to be above 80. Yeah, you're not going to be. You, you'll be fine on these, right? So. Uh, the, the reason why we like putting these versus a copper line, if a nail goes through here, then it uh, immediately tell us, hey, there's a leak, right? Um, usually what happened in the past on the copper line is that a nail goes through in there, it stays there over time, eventually, um, then it starts to leak. Um, but anyway, th these are just more flexible, less labor intensive just all around a, a much better product than the copper pvc line and they're going to fill your showers and tub with water yeah so that the lines are all filled so that if there is a leak they will know that before okay. they yeah. put up the wall so the water will if there's no water in the lines then we'll know okay that's the one coming up by from that bedroom area that, that coming down that i mentioned earlier coming well, into the this front this is really meant for structure all right. The front room here. It just adds realism. Okay. The ceiling fan king going um, this area. So, comes up half, past half of the um, two by four. We're gonna add a plate carrier, um, a, um, a nail plate, right? So, if there's the drywall guys trying to put a, a screw or something through here, that way they don't nick this. Okay. Um, that's going to prevent that, right? So if they make this, this light, this switch won't work.